It's more like a pleasant first And the only sound I hear at night Is the sound of my purring air conditioner Oh no, here I go again, babysitting. So we got a trouble code here. Watch it. One, one, two, three. Whoa. That blinked different that time. Hold on. One, two, three, three, four. God, this thing is, okay, control temp cooling failure. Money. One, two, three, four on the bottom. So three on the top, four on the bottom. Three, four. Cooling temp, cooling failure. Control temp, cooling failure. I'm sorry. Now I've already gone downstairs and made sure this thing is calling. Um. Yesterday, I did I did a video of it. Maybe I'll just cut and splice that into this video. But I was I was going around here and was flashing a what was it a one four code yesterday low supply temp alarm. And uh, well, I was looking everywhere, all over the place, and I was just looking around. I was explaining how they label these, and Aon's pretty good about labeling everything so you can see it. And then this wire right here was just sitting here on top. So we're still powering up the unloader module here. As you can see the blinking light. Steady blink. Yeah, okay. So it's just powering up. Huh. What's that? That's not hooked in. Look at that, guys. <laughs> That was the number four. It was literally just sitting right on top. Like it was unplugged. So, I put it back in. I assume it goes in the number four. You know? Um, it was laying right there on number four. I don't really have the time right now to go through. What I might do is just take some of these manuals home and start reading them at home or something and then uh, learn about it. I'm here to I'm here just to learn. I'm not gonna like go through and tear up the thing and put my gauges on it and stuff. I mean I, I don't I don't think our air conditioning company even knows what to do with these either. You know, they don't have a watt master computer to see what's really going on with them or anything like that. So I don't think they have any more idea of other than what the schematics telling them and stuff like that, you know. Um, so off the unloader module here, um, this wire was loose and when I put it on there, I now have fan, the fans running, the fans running like 20, they love to run, uh, these Aon units love to run the, the fan 24 seven for some reason, but, uh, now I'm getting a different code. So yeah, I'm getting a three, four code, which they're written here also. So could control temperature cool fail. Control temperature. Well, anybody knows what that means? Put it in the comment section. I don't know. Shoot. Like I said, I, I'm still learning. I'd rather, I'd rather just like come up here and like I got 30 minutes of my day. I've known that this hasn't been working for like a week. Because I put in drain tabs a long time ago and they're still there. And all the other ones, they're gone already in like two weeks. So there was really no point in doing that. But um, the uh, filters are not bad. So, I mean, well, let's try that. Quills don't look too bad either. But I mean, this thing hasn't been running in a while. Try something. The dampers 
doors are open like always. Do need to get in here and maybe run some coil cleaner over the coils a little bit. But they're not like they're it's not like they're clogged or anything. And you got a the fan proving switch, which I doubt that's the problem. But right here is the fan proving switch. And it's hard to get to. You gotta go through this TXV and the cap tubes to get to it. But um the fan wouldn't be running and it would be flashing a three coat on there if it was a proving switch. And now it says control temperature failure or something, you know. I don't know what that means. I mean probably go to the index here and you know do a whole bunch of crap but you know like I said I'm learning and I'm using this one to learn because nobody's nobody's even noticed that this unit's not running so I'm just using this as like my little experiment because nobody's complaining and it's cool downstairs these other ones are probably working harder to keep up with with this little area I mean it's all open it, Downstairs it's all open. There's like no walls or anything separating this stuff. So There's no reason for zones or anything like that. I don't think What was that error cut? Uh, I'm gonna see Maybe it'll tell me here. I don't know Pretty cool if you still have the manuals for them. You know, you can always Google them too um, Control CO2 level. Yeah, they got so much crap in here, guys. You haven't. They, they register on the CFMs, all sorts of sensors. These things are crazy stupid. Economizer. Control. I don't see it. Coil temperature, maybe that's it. Yeah, see, so you got A1, A2, B1, B2. You got four sensors on the coil. It's like, God almighty. You know? Ah, dang it. Let's see if we can even look and see. Let's see if we can see any sensors on, on the coil. Is that, looks like it's going to be see the uh, that thing might take the temperature too I don't know that's the airflow switch so I'm not even sure but I, I was I was hopefully looking for you know a thermistor or something on the side or something but what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna cut it off and turn it back on and see if we can clear out the code because I already know what it threw that time and then there's no access but the blower here so yeah I don't I don't know it's a little five ton unit yeah it's five ton so, so, yeah five ton unit so it's you know I think that 15 ton over there is keeping up with everything right now but Alright, yeah, I see. Yeah, I can feel cold air coming in there now. Look at all this jump, man. God almighty. What is all that shit? Man, I bet there's, there's sensors all over this sucker, I bet you. Yeah, we do need to get a brush up here and brush the inner coils. Alright. So it's going to be about a five minute delay. I'm just going to turn this back on. And if anything strange happens, I'll let you know. If something starts working or whatever. But I need to, I don't like putting my knees on here because they turn white. And then they, it feels like fiberglass. So yeah, it's going to do its initialization. It takes it a couple minutes to start up. If it's going to start up, it'll start up. But... Uh, you'll hear fan relay click here in a second. Or I think that was the fan relay. Yeah, the fan's spooling up. That's what the VFD does. Pulses the uh, the uh, motor up to speed. So it slowly pulses it. So it doesn't have that inrush current going into it. 
So I'm gonna save some battery juice and uh, we'll be back if anything changes. Okay, so we're back. After I rebooted it, everything seems to be sequenced. I heard the fan cut on, it's on. I can feel there's a little hole back here that keeps this cabin cool. It pushes the air conditioning air in here and air conditioning is the cabin as well a little bit. So um, at the time, it's status two is blinking one time every so often. So status two with zero blinks on one says normal operation. So, so far we have normal operation. And what I'm thinking is yesterday when I put this wire back on here, I, um, I didn't reboot it. So this thing was still registering that there was an error code in there. Dummy me, but um, it might actually cut on. But I'm not sure. It's I'm not even sure if it's calling downstairs, even though I have the slider. This has one of those sliders, warmer, warmer or cooler sliders. It's a four degree differential on that so if you go all the way up I think it's 78 degrees if you go all the way down at 74 um, as far as the comfort so I think what's happening is these these units are all working our MAUs are working and uh, they're keeping the air down there it feels really nice so I just don't think this thing is calling anymore and I bet you yesterday um, maybe after this video what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just attach another video to this uh, video and show you that this wire was on where this wire was unplugged. If I just a little snippet, you know, not not the whole video of me talking about all this crap because that's what I've been doing today and just now. So just learning about these guys. That's that's one of the ways like if you're a maintenance guy and you you want to get into more technical stuff because it's going to get more techy it's going to get you know throughout the years you know i can control this thing with my smartphone i just need to hook a module up to this little port right here and txrx and i can communicate with this thing from my house if i wanted to you hook a gsm module to it so they they're very techy and uh yeah you can hook them into a computer network. So I've seen everything done with these things. Uh, you, but you can't find too many A on videos on what to look for or whatever. But if you're lucky enough to have that manual, pop that baby out. Look for those blinking lights. Status 1, status 2. Status 1, status 2. It'll probably tell me, again, control temperature cooling failure. Probably because it's at 74. The compressor does work. However, I'll show you. The compressor does work. We'll push it in. So the compressor works. Um, but it's, it's just, it's funny. Now it's going to trip off on an error of three code. Yep. Uh, three code's going to be a protector, uh, compressor protector trip. So I already know it's, it's going to do that because I just messed with it. Um, Nah, that's not even powered yet so but uh I think it's just it's satisfied now it's and I have no way of adjusting the temperature on the thermostat which that's another thing that makes Aeon pain in the butt or any kind of like commercial stuff um you know the uh, thermostat downstairs as I stated before is just a sliding bar so you don't know what temperature you got set for. You don't know if it's calling or not, really. Um, not unless you have a computer to stick in, stick into there, a Wattmaster computer, and then off you can go. You can make this thing, you can do anything. You turn on this or that or whatever, close open the dampers, whatever you want. You do a whole freaking diagnostics test with that thing. And uh, probably can do it on here too, but I mean, how are you even supposed to read any of that that's going on over there, you know? But, uh, I must say I fixed it because it, it's looking like it's, it's, uh, it's happy now. I mean, I gave it, I gave it five minutes and it's blinking on one code. So that's normal operation. Nothing else is, um, 
nothing else is uh, popping off. That's that's your fan relay right there. That's going to tell the fan to kick on through the VFD. So I'm I'm learning a lot about these actually. I'm I really am. I'm not going to mess with them. You know, if something goes down, I'm not going to be ripping out sensors and you know sticking my meter to them. But it's fun to kind of learn and, and look at where everything's going for next time. I run into this, be like, oh, a 3-4 code, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. A 3 code, yeah, flow switch, blah, blah, blah. Blow it out with your gallow gun, you know. It's good to know, it, you know, it's good to learn. Good to learn. I like I like learning. So this is my little experimental baby right here. We're not going to mess with her too much. Again, like I said, nobody's complaining about it. It's probably satisfied at the moment. I don't know. It says normal operation now, so... There's a thousand things that can go wrong with these things. Jeff the maintenance man, again, messing with the Aeon unit. They always need to be babysit. And, uh, uh, they're just a pain in the butt. There's always something going, there's a little flashy code or something going on. But, Jeff the maintenance man, y'all have a great day. I'm going home. See ya. It's more like a pleasant bird. Sound I hear at night is the sound.